Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Delp Chanel's 48th World. All right. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos, and thank you for sharing. All right. But mostly, you know I like you to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. All right. Well, I want to tell you. One of my informants came by, stopped by, had tea and crumpets with me today. Yes, none other than Atlanta Black Star and my good friend over there, Kirsten Willis, banging out another salacious story. We don't know if it's true. It could all just be rumors. But then again, it might just be true. Factual. How they say facts. All right. I don't know what Miss Portia Williams is doing out there. And I really don't really care too much more. She's just making more content for me to come out here to question who she is, <laughs> what she's doing, and why. Okay? Because if her mother and her sister unfollow Mr. Dennis McKinley, evidently they still side eyeing him, but they're doing it from a distance. Okay? Because right now, to me, he got Portia out here looking like a thot. I mean, go get a room, a hotel room. Go back to your house and make out like that. It was just too, It's I don't know, it just didn't look right. I mean, it's if it's, it's a fun time at the beach, give me the sand, give me the ocean, give me poses all day. But that just looked like an orgy or somehow. You see that picture I'm looking at? Like pornographic or something you know what i'm saying but just with adult people but anyway just going back this is what i see this is my thoughts my opinions he just got, got her out here looking like a thought got one baby by her i'm like put a ring on it and marry it with a license okay don't have no more babies get his last name okay girl because you're out here looking like a female thought my opinion okay but right now i'm coming to you with the who what when where why and lastly how in the entertainment celebrity celebrity world of living the individual we're going to be discussing today is none other than dennis mckinley and portia williams okay and i know y'all probably like what the hell is she finna say about them now because she don't know what she's talking about you right like i said i might be putting out here nothing but untruths but guess what? It just might be true. Okay? And then, are you going to come back and say, Oh, uh, yeah, you were right. I was wrong. Probably not. But, hey, it doesn't matter because we're all here for the entertainments. Okay? That these so-called reality stars want to give us and they making money hand over fist doing it. And they don't really care what we say, how we feel. We still checking for them. Okay? And they still checking for me. All right. But let's get on into it. Like I said, my good girl, Kirsten Willis, over there banging them out. Meaning the headline stories that's keeping us in a trip mode. Okay. Giving us something to talk about when we're with our friends, family, foes, or just by ourselves. Okay. Giving us entertainment drama every day of the day. Okay. The article reads that Miss Kirsten Willis put out on Atlanta Black Star. This what I like to see why Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley vacation may turn into a trip down the aisle. Okay, yeah, they supposed to be in Las Vegas living their best life. Okay. But like I said, they need to be getting the room. But getting back to the article, it says Portia Williams and fiance Dennis McKinley are doing it up in Las Vegas. For a child-free Labor Day weekend. And wow, they're in the Sin City. They might just head down the aisle. Okay? And that was the whole article point of saying, as a title, this is what I like to see. Why Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley vacation may turn into a trip down the aisle. Okay, we can only pray. We can only pray and wish for it. Okay, I know that's what her mama Diane is saying. Please get this child off of me. Take a Lord. Take a Tell Dennis to take her and go on and let them have their fruitful prosperity type of life. Because I'm, I'm, oh, I need to get rid of her. I need to unleash her. I need to, I need to have my house back to myself, my feelings back to myself, and just worry about my grandchildren. Okay, that's probably what you're saying. Probably not, but that's just me talking. Okay, getting back to the article, we say the duo who got married together last month 
So I'm sorry, the duo who got back together last month after splitting earlier this summer headed to Vegas for some scantily clad fun with pals Shamar Moore, Morton, and her husband Gerald M. Because I didn't want to mispronounce his name, okay? And like I said, they're giving some real ratchet type photos that you would probably want to have for your own private collection and not for the world to see. I mean, the beach stuff she got on, I don't see any sand, no uh, ocean in the background, you know, people running, playing, throwing frisbee or playing volleyball. I don't see none of that activity. It seems like they're in a warehouse somewhere that's been decorated up to look like a beach party scene, but it just seems like it's, to me, a reflection of a a uh, swingers type situation going on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But getting back to the article, it says, as the Real Housewives of Atlanta star shook her booty against her betrothed, meaning her man, Morton snapped a photo of the two. Okay, me and mine versus you and yours. Ooh, that sounds like a swingers, a swinger convention going on. Okay, I don't know. Okay, are they trading? Are they trading our spouses? Okay, I don't know. They put this out. I did. I'm just reporting it. Okay. Then it says fans applaud the pair Sunday night out in between Pillar, Johanna's parents. Now, this is what I like to see. Or this is, wait a minute. Now, this I can get used to. This is what I like to see. I'm so happy to see y'all still together. Black love, y'all look damn good together. That was a commenter. Okay. Another commenter said, get it and never let it go. Jesus finally fixed it and happy for both of you. Okay, that's another com commentator's or uh, fan of hers wrote. Another one wrote, congratulations, you both deserve unconditional love. Okay, I don't think I got to say about that. No, they both deserve it. I don't know if they're going to have pure happiness with one another because one of them just like cheat. Okay, cheat with anything and everything. Okay. No pun intended. I just thought I'd just put my spin in it, okay? My feelings. I'm getting into my feelings. I'm getting into my feelings. Okay, but going back, it said, yes, even though we only see TV life with you two, I really like you guys as a couple. Please make it work. Stay together. Fight through the BS. Yep, that's what they say. Okay. And I can't I can't say that they're not a cute couple together. But I'm like, he just has some infractions. I just can't get past that point. Maybe it's the mother in me. You know what I'm saying? You do my child wrong, I'm gonna give you a second child a second chance to do her wrong. No, not with all the stuff that was put out on you and made me and my other father you I'm on Diane's side, hon. I'm watching from a clock. I might have to get hands on with that brother. All right, so I need to exit stage left and keep moving and say, girl, girl, don't mess with my grandchildren. That's the only thing I could say because I raised you the best way I could. But you right here, you ain't showing me. You ain't showing me that you understood how I raised you, okay, by fooling with this trifling man. But anyway, that's just me. That's mother in me. Mother in me. Get into it, okay? Uh, Going back to the article, it says, beautiful. Another commenter. You guys are perfect for each other. You have no idea how we all pray for you, too. I'm, I'm so happy you and God fixed it. Okay. All right. I ain't even going to touch that when I wanted to, but I'm not going to give you my comment on that commenter's post. I'm not. Okay. Going back, it says another uh, commentator. Commenter said one even implored McKinley to go ahead and make things official with his lady love. Ryder, you need to go ahead and marry her while you in Vegas. Now, see, I can get with that post. Yeah, go on, do it. You don't need the dirt already. She don't forgave you. Go on. You don't need a Bravo wedding here. We already, some of us looking forward to Cynthia's nuptials that she's going to post it all on a uh, Bravo show. I guess they're going to give her a wedding series like they did Nene. And here they did it for Cynthia too, didn't it? I don't think Cynthia need to do it again. Oh, another train wreck. Another train wreck. But anyway. No, I don't want to see Portia. I don't, I don't, I don't. Go and get married, Portia. Go and live your life and, and have a fabulous, uh, what do you call it? Party wedding. Okay. <sighs> anyway, moving on from that. Uh, they showed a um they showed a, a what do you call it uh receipt as y'all say in social media where if you went on his I guess Twitter account 
or it might be in Instagram. Either way, it's showing where the, that commenter had said to go on and marry her. And he was like, yeah, we're going to do that in the morning. See, if he ain't get married in the morning, like he said, see, he lying again, girl. He lying, Portia. You should be, well, you can't, you don't need to drag no man. Because if he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Did y'all ever get no prenup signed? Is that why you ain't drunk the broom yet, Portia? Girl. And then you talking about having another baby by this man. Girl. Okay, but that's just my, that's just me. Don't bother about it. Don't pay attention to me. Do you? Do you all day long, okay? Because that's what it really counts. What you feel, what you want to do, and how you want to see your life. Live it, boo, okay? Going back to the article, it says, fans virtually jump for joy over the revelation, okay? <sighs> and then he posted something, meaning uh, Dennis McKinley. I knew it. That's why y'all brought witnesses. Oh, no. They, somebody, a commenter wrote that. And, um... Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not really understanding it. Okay. And another one commenter said, we'll be waiting. Another commenter said, I got married in Vegas. Go for it. We are still in love. Okay. Uh, another one wrote, what are you waiting for? The two of you are just meant to be. Go ahead and get that marriage license tomorrow. Yeah. Or oh, it's his mama in his ear saying, did you get that prenup sign? Did you get that? Uh, did you get this in there? And that clause? And that? She probably said, uh -uh, we, no, you need to come back home. Get it together, and then we 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 y'all go to the courthouse, or whatever. But you need to put that in writing. See, yeah, mm hmm. He listened to his mama. I don't know why you ain't listening to your portion, but okay, you grown, you grown, got a baby by him, so you gone down that road, back down memory lane. Okay, you remember Cordell? Oh, okay, God, all right. That's the mother, mother in me. That's just the mother in me. Getting back to the article, it says Williams and McKinley initially got engaged last summer after a whirlwind romance and pregnancy. But by the time summer came, 2019 rolled around, trouble began brewing between the parents. The two unfollowed one another on Instagram and soon McKinley lowered up over claims from a YouTuber blogger who said he stepped out on Williams. Okay, he got to be talking about Tasha K. But hell, Tasha K done told him, probably other people done told Portia. Even Candy uh, Burris even tried to tell her about Dennis McKinley and all these other things that the streets are talking about. And she ought to know. She in them streets deep. Okay, she got folks that know folks that know ratchery. Okay? Shoot. Girl. And Candy hadn't been wrong. Candy hadn't been wrong. All right, girl. Try to tell Cynthia about some things. She okay, for uh her. -huh. Other men that's supposed to be single dating her, but they had a whole family or a girlfriend back somewhere in the closet. Okay, girl, listen to when people are trying to throw you stuff. Don't look at the uh, primary reason you think why they're giving you it, giving you the information and how they letting you retrieve it. But hey, just look at the message, Portia. Look at the message. But moving on, back to the article, it says, However, by the time I was rolled around, PJ's parents were dating again, and McKinley popped the question all over again during the Real Housewives of Atlanta crack past trip to uh, Carabina, Carabina. I think they're talking about Toronto, Canada. But anyway, the pair originally planned a New Year's Eve wedding. All right, that was too, that pretty much the whole gist of the whole article. But, you know, y'all y'all see how I feel. I understand how y'all feel. And y'all tell me how y'all feel in them comments about this situation. Okay? Because we all have opinions. We're not going to agree all the time. Sometimes we have to uh, lean to our understanding of agreeing to disagree with one another. But be respectful. Okay? But anyway, that's my uh, time I had on this video, on this little story that broke out. From my girl over at Atlanta Black Star, Kirsten Willis. Give it up for her. And I'll see you guys next video. How about that? Bye.